All right. Good morning, Alta Realty Group agents. This is Kevin Lauren. I'm the director of training and marketing here. I uh, hope everybody's doing well on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Uh, today, we're going to be joined, of course, by Bill Seitz from Clearview Mortgage. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Kevin. How are we doing today? Doing fantastic. Beautiful day for a webinar, as usual. So today, what of we're going to be talking about? Yeah. So uh, today, we're going to be talking about the automation features that our uh, that our tools come with. We do have two different automation features uh, depending on which uh, platform you're on. If you're on agent marketing, then we do have an automation feature through agent marketing. If you're on uh, conversion, we do still have automation available through Imprev. So we're gonna be going over both of those today. And before we kick things off, we just wanted to uh, check in with Bill from Clearview Mortgage and find out what is new and awesome in the mortgage world. Bill? Sorry, Kevin. I, sorry, I'm, I, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Um, yeah, um, you know, thanks, Kevin. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, uh, I'm actually filling in for Derek. Derek Nichols, our regional sales manager, is a little bit under the weather. And I am going to um, just give a little bit of information before you get into your content, Kevin. Um, I'm really, really excited about what you're going to present today. So, I'll keep it brief. I, I hope everyone enjoyed Debbie's uh, VA presentation last week. I listened to it myself. I think it's very informative and I think it's a good way for all of us to kind of be well versed in the different aspects of lending, not just the kind of the straight down the road conventional, you know, sprinkling the FHA, but the VA is a, is it you know, the, the, the pool of VA buyers and people in the marketplace is more than you think. So it is good to have that knowledge, but I hope uh, everyone got a chance to listen to that or, or I know Kevin, you sent that back out for everyone on the, on the recap. Right. And it also is available. Most of the almost 95% of the replays are available in the uh, ARG agent resource center as well. So, and uh, I will just, quickly show you where that lives so the ARG resource center is on our, our marketing or is on mm -hmm. our, our website and uh, everybody uh, on the call has a login if you forgot your login let me know we can get you set up um, but you will go into our website and our agent resource center is right here and the training videos are located right there go ahead Bill. great so, you know, when I was thinking about, okay, what am I going to, you know, share with everyone this morning, I usually go into a program or go into something that is, is really pertains to lending and, and what we're doing over here on a day-to-day -day basis from, from Clearview Mortgage. But I came across some sales statistics yesterday. And when, when we see good content, we see stuff that is informative, we like to share it with you guys. And whether you're a realtor or a loan officer or anybody in, in sales for that matter, um, we all have, you know, leads, we have uh, referrals, we have people we meet at open houses, you know, the, the neighbor down the street. And I came across these sales statistics and, and it's not, this wasn't labeled as real estate specific, but I think it was just a more of a general sales statistics. But I think it probably holds pretty true in our business as well, because I do come across a lot of uh, you know, stuff in, in marketing and conversion and leads and all that good stuff that we're constantly trying to, to grow our business. But I want to read off a few of these sales statistics, and then we'll just do a quick little follow-up on it and let Kevin get going. But So 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. So almost half. That's quite, that, that, that was kind of a... A big number when I read that 25% of salespeople make a second contact and stop. So they do the follow up and then they don't go any further. Maybe they didn't get the response they wanted or they just don't keep going past that point. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and stop. And only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. So as wow, we can see, that's, there's, a, that's incredible, Bill. That's uh, good, good stats. And I'm sorry, where where did those stats come from? Um, Kevin, you'll you'll laugh at this, but I got this. Uh, our, our our old buddy Jay Oku, who uh, started a small business that's thriving, 
yeah. um, with, with Gavin Tucker. Uh, they have a small business that they run. And uh, I know Jay and, and, you know, and his older brother Kane have always been just sales gurus. Oh yeah. And, you know, I got it actually off of his, uh, off of his Instagram. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. That, that power of yeah. social media folks. <laughs> yep. And so just so, so we can see in those four statistics that people don't really do a good job of following through with the leads or the contacts that they're getting. Um, you know, and I think that rings true for a lot of us that we get busy or we don't, we don't do a good job with organization or we, uh, for whatever reason, we don't follow all the way through in the, um, in with, with the prospect until they either tell us, Hey, I'm not interested or we convert them to the sale or create them as a client. Uh, right. the, 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 the final four or five statistics that kind of show the conversion is really interesting as well. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Very small number. 2% wow, of sales made on the that, first contact. That's powerful, folks. Remember that number. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. And here's the, here's the, here's the bell ringer. 80% of sales are made on the fifth the 12th contact. Unbelievable. So, so I just, you know, I wanted to share this this morning because it really kind of struck me, you know, it was pretty profound when I started reading through this and, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I'm, you know, no different than anybody else that's on this call. Done leads, subscribe to leads, you know, and, and, and you do this two or three touches and, you know, God, oh, they're not interested or they're not, you know, it, this really shows the power of, to follow through and keep staying persistent because it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy to say, ah, oh, these leads aren't working. But I think if you really work them and you really stick to it, I think that we'll all find, uh, you know, different results. So just wanted to share that with everyone this morning. I know it's a little bit uh, different than the typical lender uh, <laughs> component, but I do think it's important to share good information when we see it. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you got this morning, Kevin, and uh, I'll pass the baton here. Yeah, and, and Bill, if you would, if you would send me those stats, I'll put those stats even in the, uh, on, on the video replay. Um, so all the video replays are YouTube videos. We upload the, them to YouTube, and so there's always a little spot below the video where there's some, uh, some text. And so I'll put those stats in that video, um, in, in, the, uh, in the, the info area of the video. Yeah, no problem. That that sounds great. I think it is something good for everyone to, to see, not just hear it, but also see it with their own eyes. Yeah, it, you know, I'm I'm a visual learner, so when I, when I get to to lock on and, and check it out, it definitely uh, helps me. And so that I mean, that's a great one, Bill. That's something that I work with agents every single day on, and you know, I'm constantly asked by agents, you know, what's, what should be the frequency of follow up and, you know, what's too much and what's, you know, what's the right mix. And really, you know, I, um, one of the guys that I follow, you know, his, his theory is a little aggressive. His theory is you, if you have a phone call, you call immediately, you know, as soon as humanly possible. And he's actually a little bit of a bulldog. He, he will quote unquote bulldog these leads. He'll call them three times in a row. Make a phone call, doesn't, the person doesn't fit, pick up, don't leave a message, call right back. He'll do that three times. Not really my style, to be honest, um, but he'll start it that way. And on the third call, <laughs> you know, he says people will, a lot of times they're gonna pick it up and they're gonna say, did you just call me three times? And his, his response is absolutely. I wanted to make sure that you contacted me to get information and it's my job to make sure that I get that information to you in a very timely manner because I know the stigma that real estate agents have and you know everybody thinks that real estate agents are lazy and this this and that I'm the exact opposite my organization is built on service and so he literally takes that angle with his that's brilliant, <laughs> with, uh, that's, that's, that's brilliant I think Kevin. I, I think it's brilliant too it's a little bit little abrasive a little little bulldoggy but uh, it works for him. This guy does a lot of business and has a, a you know has a, a six person team. Um, that's the way that they do it. So from there, then what he does is you know okay you don't they don't pick up. 
Then you put that person on a once a week tickler file. So all of you, those, uh, those leads once a week, he's going to give them a call. If they don't pick up the, 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 uh, the, the phone for the entire month, there's four different phone calls that you're going to make during that month. You put them on the once a month tickler file. So you just kind of systematically drop them down, but you're still calling them. You're still connecting with them. As you all know, um, with most of our programs, if they do come into our systems, they're going to get a drip campaign of emails. And so that's great and all. And we always want those drip campaigns to, to be going out. But following up with a phone call is imperative. It's absolutely the crux. Um, honestly, I'm probably not going to respond to a realtor. It just starts dripping stuff to me. But if they're following up with, with a phone call and a sincere uh, message to me saying, hey, I'm making sure that you've got all the information you need. I've got some great other stats to share with you. Give me a call anytime you'd, you'd like to discuss. So just taking that approach is definitely going to uh, help you guys convert the leads. Good stuff, Kevin. Okay, so with that, we're going to dive right into automation. And so automation is, um, we have two different systems. We have Improv and we have uh, uh, agent marketing. And so both have great, uh, you know, automatic uh, marketing materials that you'll get. Basically what happens with both of these systems is as you put a uh, listing into the MLS, basically about 24 hours later, you will get an email that looks just like this. This is one that comes from uh, Improv. And so it'll have a single property website. It'll have an unbranded MLS approved single property website. As you know, on the MLS, you can't have anything branded there. Um, it'll also has, have a Facebook boosted ad, Facebook post, jumbo postcard, single slide flyer, e-postcard, and a virtual tour. So that's great and all. However, the old adage is garbage in equals garbage out. And so one thing that we see is we see, you know, uh, agents get a listing. And in my opinion, the number one thing that you need to do when you get a listing is pay a photographer to take high quality images because all of the uh, marketing materials, <clears throat> they hinge on the quality of those images. So again, if you have crappy images, your marketing materials are going to look crappy. And when you do get a listing, um, and I know photography can be expensive in a lot of different areas. However, we do have, and we're, we're about to create a corporate relationship with a company called Preview First. Uh, Preview First is a spectacular uh, company that works primarily in the, in the uh, they, they are expanding rapidly, but they're primarily in Southern California, um, Inland Empire, Orange County, San Diego County, uh, almost all of LA County. And so these guys and, and Travis Breton, our uh, corporate broker, he's been using these guys for years and literally it's $150 for 25 pro photos. So 150 bucks is not a whole lot to spend on a listing. And especially when you're with Alta Realty Group and you have a good split and you're able to retain more money than you, you would have at a dip, at another brokerage. So spending that little 150 bucks um, and having uh, you know, a preview first come on out is not a bad way to do it. Um, in fact, I think it's imperative. Um, you know, maybe you know, on, on the, 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 the cheapest of, of, uh, of home prices, maybe you're not gonna do it. And I'm talking about a manufactured home or something to that effect. But you know, anything you know, 250,000 in North, you gotta spend the 150 bucks, get some quality images, and it's not just about, you know, promoting that particular property. You want to have these great, uh, high quality uh, images and marketing materials to land your next listing. So you can't show somebody, you know, that, uh, that you're trying to get their, you know, a listing uh, that you do a great job if you don't already have great marketing materials to show them. So uh, that is really where it starts. It starts with good images, and then of course, uploading those images in a good manner to the MLS. So doing it right the first time. 
you know, the very first time you, you, you set the, uh, the property up in the MLS, you should have the images, you should have the description, you should have everything perfect to make sure that the automation portion will go smoothly from there. So let's just take a quick look at an example of one of these automated, uh, you know, websites. Or, so this is a single property website for 125 Lakeview Drive in Palmdale. We can check out the property photos. And unfortunately for this, prop, for this property, uh, this particular realtor has only uploaded one photo. So there you go, there's our photo. So if this person had, had, uh, had uploaded several photos, then of course we'll have a slideshow here. And it, it'll make this uh, a lot better. And it also, there will have a, uh, a, a description on this. So, you know, it's nice that, it's, that we don't have to do anything and it just spits it out for us but we do have to make sure that on the front side, we get enough images to make it look good. So here's another example, uh, 202 in Green Mountain in Palm Desert. And this has beautiful photos. And look how much better this is. This is just, you know, this is a functional, great website. You can send a client, you can send uh, to your prospects and they can get an understanding of what the heck this, this property looks like. So that is a good example of, you know, uh, setting up the the MLS information and uh, making sure that everything looks good on the front side so your property website looks spectacular. So this is a great, she's got, a, you know, all, a, a, you know, the great uh, uh, description of the property, got a map. So very, very nice. This is uh, Chris Felix's uh, listing. So this is an, a, an example of uh, doing the everything on the front side correctly so the automation works well. And so let's just take a look at a few of the other, let's see, let me get a few of the other uh, automated uh, things that will pop up. So let's just take a look at what the Facebook post would look like now. It's great. And so, and again, so this is, this is automatic, right? This will just spit out for you if you've got your account set up properly, um, which is unreal. Um, however, you can go in and you can manipulate these. Once they have been created, you know, you can go into your Imprev account and you can, uh, here's, here's one for Ana Chavez, you can manage this particular property and say we didn't like the way that something came out. We can go in, we can view the projects. Oh, oops, let me go back one more. So say we didn't like the, 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 the way that the flyer was. We can edit it. We can go in, we can change the product description. This one doesn't have anything. We can change the photos, we can upload new photos if we didn't have photos. We can add photos right here. We can change the text. And we can change the agent information. We can manipulate the agent information if we needed to. So very, very simple. Um, great news is a lot of guys or a lot of the agents have now moved on to the uh, agent marketing platform. Um, great platform also has automation. So let's take a look at what that uh, email would look like. So right when you put in the, uh, the, the listing into the MLS, about 24 hours later through agent marketing, you'll get a similar automated email. So same kind of thing, you know, here's the, uh, the, the, the tour link. And again, I don't know if there's a lot of, in, uh, a lot of, we'll turn that off. I don't know if there's a lot of uh, images for this particular pro property. And this is a lower end, you know, property, um, but still, looks good. If there's a ton of images on the front side, there will be a gallery. If there's no images, there will be nothing in the gallery. So again, setting everything up through the MLS, making it look good uh, from the get go is absolutely imperative. Um, and so here, so once you, you do uh, upload a property into the MLS on the agent marketing system, it's going to add that to your properties area. So these are all properties that uh, Anna and Larissa have. Um, and so we can take a look at these. And these, these, these hey, two are Kevin. Yes, sir. Just, just to be clear. Um, yeah. 
So the, really the key is, and I think you mentioned this, I just want to be clear myself. Sure. And maybe for anyone else who has this good question, you, you just have to do everything perfect into the MLS and then the automation works seamless on that next outflow of the marketing material and the information. That's correct. So, so I mean, it, it, is, everything has to be just perfect, you know, as, as perfect as you want it or, you know, on the front end. And then it, it just basically pulls all that great information and photo and content out through the automation, out through the, the, the different uh, methods of, of pushing the content out. Exactly. And then, so, and then some of the, the realtors, you know, they, they need to, and their process is to create marketing materials prior to things going into the MLS. So that's, that's no problem at all. We can create all of the same things just by adding. So we don't have an MLS number yet. So what we're doing is we're going to go through, we're going to put all the information in. We're going to put all the details in. We're going to select a theme for these, you know, these various uh, marketing materials. Um, we can do all that stuff, go through the, the process, and literally within about seven minutes, we can create all of those marketing materials as well. So the automation is, is, is fantastic. Um, however, we, I, you know, there's plenty of situations where you know you have to get those, those marketing materials out and even perhaps show the client before it hits the MLS. And so this is the way to do that. And so you can create uh, property uh, profiles for uh, really even uh, properties that aren't your own listings. If you wanted to just create you know, a nice uh, page for, for a property that you're about to show, you could actually do that through here. So um, makes it very, very simple. Um, adding properties, very, very simple. I mean, it literally takes about seven minutes and um, then away you go. So, um, so th those are the, the basics of automation. Um, what I encourage all of you to do is go through the, the, once you do get a listing, go through, make sure that it's done correctly. If you have trouble, contact me. And I can help you go through and make sure that the automation is set up right. And if you, again, if you have a, a listing that you'd like to get some, some information for and some marketing materials before, uh, for before it hits the MLS, then you know we can go through this process here. And uh, Imprev, same exact thing. If we have something, if we have a a project that, or we have a a listing that's not on the MLS yet, we can just create a new project right here. Very, very simple. And in the ARG Agent Resource Center, we do have, uh, you know, training videos for uh, Imprev. And of course, one-on-one -on -one training works very, very well as well. So that is the basics of Imprev and agent marketing with respect to the automation. So one of the things that I wanted to say is we are starting to do micro-targeting in a lot of the areas that our agents are in. And one of the ways that we're going to be doing that is we're going to be helping you guys promote your listings to the other realtors in the area. So, and the way that we're going to be doing this is, you know, we get notified when, uh, you know, when, a, when an automated uh, marketing material set gets, gets created. So we'll be monitoring those. And as long as they've got good images and they look good, we're going to be marketing those things for you in your local area. And we're going to be doing this for the next couple of months. So um, it definitely would behoove all of you to make sure that you're paying for good images. Uh, you're, you're uploading those into the MLS in, in a good order. Um, as far as order, you want to make sure that the very first image that's in there is like that nice big picture of the front of the house or the, the, whatever the big sales picture is. That needs to be the very first picture in the order on the MLS as well. So another little, just a, a little tr uh, tip. Um, so we encourage you guys to do that and to make sure that your, your automated marketing materials and or just the marketing materials that you can create through both of these systems are top notch. And then that way we can go ahead and, and put them out. Of course, we don't want to, as a group, be marketing these uh, properties uh, that don't have good images. It makes our group not look good and uh, it makes you as a realtor not look as professional, um, especially when you're going out to get that next listing. So that is the, uh, the basics of the, uh, the webinar today. I hope you guys uh, find that uh, informative. 
And also, of course, we do have uh, our chat feature. If anybody has any questions, throw those into the, the, uh, the chat feature. Okay, Najee says, uh, the virtual tour, an automated slideshow, or is it one of those Matterport 3D vir virtual tours? It is just a slideshow. Um, anybody can pay for Matterport and we can, you know, integrate that, but no, it is just a, it literally just an automated slideshow that comes from the, uh, the images that you upload to the MLS. Uh, does that answer your question, Najee? Okay, good. And anybody else, any other questions? Uh, of course, you can always contact me, Kevin at altarealtygrp.com. Phone number is 949-285-7209. And uh, as- Hey, Kevin. You, yes, sir. I think Mike has a question there on the chat as well. There's a couple oh, more okay. questions. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just, that just came up. Uh, what will the, the f uh, preview first relationship be? We're not sure yet. What I'm trying to negotiate is some kind of a discount for our agents. Um, they've also got a bunch of other things that, you know, they not just, you know, uh, photography, they also do virtual tours. They do, they integrate with Matterport, um, a lot of that kind of stuff. So um, we're, we're trying to, to negotiate some kind of hopefully a discount for our agents um, and a corporate relationship there. So still working that out, but they uh, we're, we're literally were just in the, in the very, very first negotiations with them, but um, they've been great so far. Um, the one of the, the uh, VPs over there has been extremely helpful and we'll probably end up having him come on one of the webinars. Um, one of the things that they do is they integrate quite quite a bit with Zillow and they have a I think something that they refer to as these they're a Zillow approved uh, photographer and they do uh, Zillow style videos so it's definitely something we're going to be looking into um, but right now we don't have that formal uh, relationship yet and let's see if there's any more questions in the chat Looks like we are good there. Uh, Bill, thanks so much for being on the line as usual. Yep, yep, great stuff, Kevin. And really, uh, you know, th this is the kind of content that we um, you look for and it is, is adds value to each of our, uh, our businesses. So I appreciate you uh, bringing this up to everyone and uh, I hope that uh, the sales statistics too is, is helpful for everyone, um, you know, moving forward as well. And I'll get that over to you so you can share that. Awesome. Thanks so much. And then, um, like I said, these Wednesday webinars are normally just kind of to, to, to kind of whet the, the appetite and, and to, to, to get you thinking in the right direction. Then, you know, we definitely want to, you know, drill down and, uh, you know, get to the nuts and bolts of it. So if you do have questions, you do need extra help, don't hesitate to contact me. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for being on the webinar. Go out and make it a great day and uh, all the success to you.